Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, you guessed it, I got the next two games in my White Sox 2020 season. And today we are going to play, be playing two games against the Cleveland Indians of our division. And uh, so let's just get on with it. Uh, so let's see, play day. And then you got manual. And here we go with Ronaldo Lopez. So I should write that down. I'm trying to keep track of what order I got these guys in. So Lopez will be pitching today. It's been a while since he's pitched, so that's I'm all for that. And we can see Tim Anderson. Remember, Tim Anderson missed the Texas series because he was tired. Well, he's back. So, yeah, I think that uh, I like that uh, lineup uh, well enough. And he'll be pitching against Carrasco. So, let's get on. Turn the sound down. So let's go. We got Lindor leading off and getting a hit. Not good. Not good at all with a plus three hold from Lopez. So let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah. So the default is probably that we're going to hold anyway. So, And there's a single by Puig. Yes, yeah, you know, Cleveland is bad news. They're still pretty good. Ground ball to second, so that's going to be a hit to Mendick. And did we turn a double play? No, we did not. We only got one out there. So... So anyway, we uh, we are pitching to Ramirez with Santana now aboard, and he's going to hit a home run one sixteen. So this game has uh, started off pretty poorly for us, I would say. Um, and then we've got um, Reyes coming up. Fran, Fran Mill Reyes. I don't know how you pronounce the guy's name, but he's out. So that's the second out. But, you know, Cleveland already has a 3 nothing lead. And uh, here's Cesar Hernandez flying out, hopefully. So we come to the plate. Already down 3 nothing. We haven't even taken it at bat yet. But there's a single for Timmy Anderson. And Lurie Garcia is up. And Lurie Garcia is ripping a single. So we got two runners on. That's a nice start. Um, I'm going to hold the runner. And you got Moncada coming to the plate, but strike it out. So he's the first out of the inning against Grosco. With Encarnacion up and hitting a home run and tying the game. So there you go. We're right back in it. I'm kind of surprised, frankly, but I love it. So there you go. 3-3. Three, three. And swing away with a Brayu. And he's going to hit the ball to second base. And that's an out. So now Grandall is up with nobody on base, and he gets out. So that's going to be it for the first, but it's 3 3 after the first inning. And Greg Allen's up, and he's going to hit the ball the first to Abreu. Hopefully, he will make the play. And then uh, Leon is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up the shields, and he strikes out. And 
That brings up Jimenez, and he'll swing away. And he's going to be out. We are starting the bottom of the second now. Mazzara up with one out. Nobody on. And he strikes out, so there's two down for us in the second. And there's a single for Mendick. So we got a man aboard. And Tim Anderson up. Got a hit last time, and he gets a hit this time. And yes, runners at the corners, and Garcia up, and Garcia hitting a three-run home run. We take a six-to-three lead. Nice. I'm saying nice on that one. So, uh, yeah, Carrasco's done for the day, but uh, or he's tired at least, and he probably should be done. And yes, he is. And they bring in Adam Simber face Moncada and he hits a fly ball to the left. That's Greg Allen though. He's a pretty good defensive outfielder. And that's it. But we got a three run home run in the uh, bottom of the second and now there uh, Lindor got out. He lines out and Puig is up. Top of the third here. Striking out. So Lopez has a new lease on life here. And he's pitching to Santana and striking him out. And he's feeling it. He's feeling the electricity of that, that three-run lead that he just got. So we go to the uh, bottom of the third. And Canarcion leading off. And he is going to pop out. Not good. Abreu is up. He's going to swing away. He double ones to nine, but it's only going to be a single. But we'll take it. One out. Grandall up. And Grandall hitting a home run. And he hits a two-run jack off of Simber. And now we are seriously in the driver's seat. And now Jimenez is up. He'll swing away. That's going to be a single one to 14. And it is. And now Simber is tired. Man, we're tiring out these Indian pitchers, aren't we? So they will bring in Goody. Oh, Goody. And I'm going to have to turn down the volume on this, I would believe since uh, it is being lit off again. So Mazzara's up, and Mazzara singles. Man, I have not seen us hit like this probably this entire year yet. Mendick is up with one out, and runners at the corners. And he singles in another run. And I'm, I'm still going to hold, even though I'm really playing with house money at this point, I'm still holding. And then there, of course, I get a double point for my trouble. But it is nine to three. So I can take that to the bank. You can bet on that. Single one. That's going to be a line out, though. Friend Mail Reyes is going to strike out. Now all of a sudden, Lopez can't be touched. He had a terrible first inning, but now he can't be touched. And there's going to be a ground ball to short, and that is in out. And now we got Lurie Garcia up. And that's a home run, one to nine, double, and that's going to go. Oh, no, it's not going to be a home run because he didn't have the power to hit a home run. But that's it for Nick Goody. So, uh, you know, we're going through their bullpen like, you know, like I go through a bag of Cheetos. All right, so we got Moncada up. And he is, what? Okay, there was a pass ball. And now Mon got a little uh, line out max plus injury. So there's two down. And 
and and Canarcion is swinging away and hitting the ball to left. And again, Greg Allen out there, he's a pretty good defenseman, so he'll make the play, I'm sure. So we do get no runs there, but it's still nine to three, and Greg Allen up and then striking out. Sandy Leone striking out. And Shields is up and hitting the ball to first base. Oh, that was a base hit. No play on it. And Lindor coming up and hitting a single. So now Cleveland has a little bit of a threat going here in the fifth. Two on with... Now it's going to be three on with two out. I'm still going to try to get Lopez through this inning, though. And he does get through it. And now he can get the win. Because I'm calling it. We're winning. We're winning this game. All right, maybe not. But Abreu is up. And uh, he hits a home run one to two double. I think we're going to because everybody they bring in, we just torch. Doesn't matter who they are. Ground ball, first base, hey, that might even move Abreu over to third, and it does. And now Jimenez is up, but he strikes out. So there's two down with Abreu 90 feet away from scoring, and Mazzara up at the plate and striking out. All right. Uh, um, I'm going to see how far we can push this. Although, I am going to bring in Angle, and I'm going to put him in for um, Mazzara. But I'm going to see if I can push uh, Lopez a little further, just a little further, even though he's tired. So Ramirez, he got the first batter. Ramirez out, and Franmil Reyes is up, and he is going to be out. And now that brings up Hernandez, and that's going to be a ground ball second base. So I pushed Lopez, and he responded positively. And we've got Mendick up to lead off the next inning, and he's out. Going to fly out, and probably, well, I don't know. I was going to say probably would have been a, a single anyway, but maybe not. Tim Anderson's up, and he is going to ground out. So there's two outs in the bottom of the sixth for us. And then uh, and then Garcia hitting the ball to third. And that's an out. Now the question, do I push Lopez to the seventh? And I think I'm going to at least start to. And he hits a single. So Greg Allen leads off with a single against the tired Lopez. Sandy Leone up. And he hits a ground ball to second and into a double play. So... Two down for the Indian. They can't even, we're hitting every pitcher that they put in there, and they can't even touch a tired Lopez. All right, I will take him out next inning, just so you know. Moncada's up. And that's a fly ball. I mean, I don't want Lopez to not be available to this fight, you know, three weeks, because I pitched him past way into his tired range. And Canarsie owns out. And that brings up Abreu. And he's going to swing away. And strike out. Of course. All right. Now we are going to go get him. Um, we're in the eighth. So I'm just going to bring in C-Shack, who hasn't pitched in a while. And he'll pitch to Lindor and strike him out. Now he's pitching to Puig, and Puig is ripping a single on him. 
So Cleveland has a man on here to lead off the eighth, or well, not to lead off the eighth, with one out in the eighth. And that's a fly ball to center. Lurie Garcia is probably not going to play that ball. Yeah, he couldn't get it. You ain't joking. But there is one out, so let's hope. Grand ball. And a run does come in, but there is now two outs. And then that's a pop up. So they did they did uh, squeeze a run across in the eighth, and so now it's nine to four. And Grandall is up to plate. And he hits the ball back to the pitcher. And that's going to be an error. So Grandall's aboard. With Jimenez up, and he's going to single one to five, and he does. So that's going to make him two for four on the day, and we have the first two runners of the inning on with Angle up. I'm even going to let him swing away, and he strikes out. But hey, we're playing with house money. So Mendick is up. Mendick hitting a fly ball to left again. Greg Allen, good defensive outfielder. And that's it. And then Tim Anderson's up. And Tim Anderson hits the ball to the second baseman, Hernan Cesar Hernandez. And that's it. So we go to the top of the ninth. The Indians need five runs to tie the game. I mean, frankly. And uh, that's going to be their leading off of outs. They're right behind the eight ball now. Allen is up and he strikes out. So the Indians are down to their last out with Leon up, and they let him hit, and he is out. So C-Sheck comes on. He pitches two really good innings, and really Lopez pitched great for us, too. So we'll get the box score and see just what Lopez did. He went seven innings, allowed six hits, and only walked one, and struck out seven. And remember, two and like a third of those innings were well he was tired that he pitched so that was good and then you you can see Carrasco just got his um got his butt handed to him one and two thirds and six earned runs not good not good for the Indians at all all right so we we won the first game against Cleveland so let's just get right into it and go to game number two again play day and let's see who we got here we got cease going up in this one so where's that list all right again i don't know if we really have to pitch cease here but um it has been a while since he's pitched, so let's let him go. Um, let me see if I can change this lineup a little bit. Um, let's put in, yeah, let's play Gorky's Hernandez. He has no at-bats so far, and he's better defensively in right field. And instead of playing Tilson in center, Let's, well, let me see. Now let's play Engel in center. And then uh, I'm going to put McCann at first base. Oh, wait, I can't do that. I can put him at DH, though. And I can put in Canarsie on it first. And then let's slip in Canarsie on up here. And okay, I like this lineup well enough. So uh, let's play some ball. Uh, we got Savale going up against Cease. So Lindor leading off. And he's going to fly out to Engel, who thank 
God I put Engel out there instead of uh, instead of the other guy. Puig is up, and uh, Puig is going to hit a home run, but maybe we can rob him. I don't know. Depends on who it is. He's got it. So, yes, we did rob him. And now Santana is up. And that's a strikeout. So, good thing Tilson wasn't in center field, folks, or it might be 2 nothing right now. So we got Timmy Anderson is going to rip a double. All right, well, I'll take it. And with Garcia, I think I'm going to bunt. Try to bunt him over. 86%, that's nice. And it works. So now we got Anderson 90 feet away with one out. And a strikeout from Moncada. Now, if you're watching Tom Bunch, this is why I don't like sacrificing. Because now I've got two outs and a runner at third. He might as well be at second for all I care. Because we have to have a hit right here. Or a walk to keep the inning going. And no, it's a fly ball. So if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't sacrificed... Um, then you don't know. You know, maybe he gets a hit instead of, you know, whatever. So that's why I don't like sacrificing people. Just mark it down. And now we've got uh, Jose Ramirez up at the plate, and he walks. And there's one man on with no outs and a strikeout for Fran Neil Reyes. So Cease has one down with one on, and we're going to throw. And yes, he's out. Nice. And then Cesar Hernandez is going to strike out. So we have James McCann up and swinging away. And that's a ground ball second base. And that's an out. Grand doll up to play. That's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher. And that's an out. And then uh, Jimenez will swing away. And that's going to be a walk plus injury. Okay, so he was only temporarily injured. And now we got Gorky's Hernandez striking out. So, top of the third, um, we got Jake Bowers up, and he's going to get a single one to five, and he does not pick it up. So, it's an out. It's actually a line out to right field. So, we're in a nothing nothing game with one out in the top of the third. The Indians batting and striking out with Leon, and so now they're down to their last out in the third with uh, the Shields up, and the Shields is going to hit a home run. Uh, no, he's not. Unbelievable. I would have thought the Shields had the power to hit a home run, but I guess he doesn't. So, good for us. Lindor is up, and he is lining out. So, here we are, bottom of the third. Nothing, nothing game. Engel leading off for us and hitting the ball to the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. And he's out. And then Tim Anderson up, who doubled his first time up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Lindor, who's a gold glove quality shortstop. And he doesn't make the play. Unbelievable. So Lurie Garcia up. Ground ball B. So now Lurie Garcia is at first, and Mancata is at the plate with two outs, and he singles. And we are going to send the lead runner, yes. Now runners are at the corners with two outs and Encarnacion up, and he triples one to six or a double. And it's going to be a double. And we'll see if we send Moncada, because we just may do that. And we are going to do that. 
So we have a 2-0 lead now, and McCann up at the plate and striking out. So now we got to see if Cease can hold this. At least for a little while longer. And it's triple one to two double for Puig, so maybe not. Santana up with Puig at second and no outs, and he strikes out. Jose Ramirez, and it's probably going to be a pass ball that moves Puig third. And we're still going to let it happen. Hit by pitch and injured for Ramirez. And, uh, yeah, he's only a little injured. And now there's a home run, 1-13. to 13. It's a three-run shot by Fran Mil Reyes. Which gives Cleveland the lead, three to two. So uh, you know, obviously, Cease could not hold it. And there's a line. So we got uh, Jake Bowers up at the plate with two down, and he strikes out. And so we'll come up to the plate now, but we're down by a run now instead of being up by two. That's a single one to six, and it's an out for Grand Dahl. Bottom of the fourth now we're in, and uh, Jimenez is up, and he hits a jack and ties the game. So it's uh, three all, right, three all here in the bottom of the fourth. And there go the fireworks, because, of course, we're on a 22-game home stream. Home stand. And Gorky's is up, and Gorky's hits a triple. Ripping a triple. Just ripping a triple. Common everyday occurrence for Gorky's Hernandez. And and, uh, and there's a single by Adam Engel, and I cannot believe it. We take the lead. So we take the lead 4-3. to three, Or, yes, 4-3. to three. And uh, Tim Anderson up. And single one to five, and he gets it. Nice. And I, you know what? I'm going to send the runners. I'm feeling a little. All right. So now we got Lurie up. Lurie Garcia at the plate, and he is going to finally end the rally. No, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. Double play. All right. So it's four to three, top of the fifth. White Sox leading. Leon leading off for the tribe popping out. And Cease, I'm thinking this is the fifth inning. So if Cease can get us through this, I'm thinking I'm probably going to take him out. No, that's a hit. He got it. He got on. We're going to throw, though, and not get it. And now Lindor is up. And Lindor is going to fly out. Thank you. Man, home run one to 16, and he doesn't get it. But the shield does move to third, but it doesn't really matter. There's two outs. If you can get the guy at the plate, and you can, barely. So it is still 4-3 us, and Moncada's up at the plate. And that's a strikeout. Encarnacion comes up. I have not seen us hit or get on base this well in any series so far, I don't think. Probably not even against Detroit. McCann is up. And that's going to be a shortstop, ground ball, double play probably. Although I said that last time and he made an error. Right, I'm going to let C start this inning at least. And he strikes out Santana. And I'm going to let him pitch to Ramirez, and he gets Ramirez to pop out. You can see how much disdain I have for this bullpen. And it's really not even that. It's just that I'm an old-school manager, and I like go oh, no, but can he rob it? Might be a home run, but maybe we can rob it. And we can. So thank you. All right, now I am going to take him out next inning. 
I promise. Scout's on her. So Grandall's at the plate trying to get on, and he is out. Jimenez is up. And he hits a home run. I don't know now. I don't know. Because now we've got a two-run lead. Maybe that by sees just a little bit more rope for the next inning. And now Gorky's is up. He tripled last time, and he strikes out. So there's two down. And Adam Engel is up. And he hits a fly ball to the center. That's to Shields. He'll probably make the play. All right, you know what? I am going to go get um, Cease. I mean, he's had enough. And uh, we're going to bring in, going to bring in Bummer. It's been a while since Bummer's been out there. So let's go with him. And, of course, he walks the first guy he faces. And we're going to pitch to Bauer. And he strikes out. Leon is up with a man on and one out, and he's going to hit a fly ball. So now there's two down for the Indians, who again are down five to three here in the top of the seventh as they are batting. And they bring in Loop Blow to pinch hit, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Tim Anderson. And that's a safe call. So he couldn't make the play, and Lindor is up, and he pops out, thankfully. So we got the good 5-3 lead here. Tim Anderson is leading off against Whitgren, and he singles. Brings up Garcia, and he strikes out. Man, right there above a hit, too. Moncada's up, and Moncada with a single one to nine, and or one to five, and that's going to be a single. And we are going to hold the runners. And that brings up Encarnacion, and he hits a ground ball to the second baseman. Not looking good. But... No, it's an E4. Thank you, Mr. Caesar Hernandez. So, base is loaded for McCann with only one out. And he pops out. At least it wasn't a double play. And now Grandall is up at the plate. And he hits a ground ball to the third baseman. And that's not looking good because he's a great defender. And he makes an error. And a third base one E18 makes an error that lets a crucial run come across for us. And now Jimenez is up. And he finally does hit a ground ball. So we're definitely going to keep Bummer out there. I mean, he hasn't really even pitched that poorly, but we've got a three-run lead. Puig on with, with no outs and Santana up. And he walks. Huh. All right, Ramirez is up. And he does hit a fly ball. So thank you. Thanks for that. One out, two on for the Indians here in the eighth. And they are losing two, four, six, two, three. And that's going to be a ground ball second base double play. So we got Gorky's up, and he is going to fly out. And you got Engel up at the plate with one out, and he strikes out. And Tim Anderson, who's three for four, rips a single. Got to say, we really got the rolls on our side, mainly, in these two games. And Lurie Garcia is up, and he strikes out. All right, I'm going to... I am going to take the uh, bummer out, and uh, we're going to put in Evan Marshall.
Hernandez strikes out. Bowers is up with one out, and he is going to hit a home run. So he makes the score six to four. And Sandy Leone is up, and they're letting him hit, and he strikes out. And uh, Luplo is up. And they're going to pinch hit um, Freeman. And he strikes out, and that is the game. We'll get the box score. Let's see how these guys did. Cease got the win, of course, six innings. Four hits, three earned runs, one walk, and struck out seven. Has a 424 earned run average on the year. Not too bad. And Marshall got his second save by pitching one inning and allowing a run. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, there we are. We're 10 and 4 now. 10 and 4, and the Indians are 5 and 10. Love it. Can I just say I love it? Well, that's it for me, folks. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.